All right, so after I've imported the announcement template into my course, I see it up at the top of the page. I'm gonna click on the link. So click on the title and I can preview what it looks like. I'm gonna choose edit and I am going to need to change everything that is all the text that is blue. So here it says Miss Hero's Biology, change it to your name and your course. This table here, this schedule, please fill it out for all of the subjects you teach. Just fill out this whole thing. And the reason for that is sometimes, as we know, parents might show up during the wrong class period, even in person. And so this is just a check for the parents, something that's there and visible for them so that they can um, make sure they're in the right place at the right time. They will have the schedule from their student. Um, and there will always be parents coming at the wrong time, but this can help them ensure they're in the right place. Then there is a box here to insert the Zoom link. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. Down at the bottom, this is for your contact information. So if you prefer email, just put your email address in. If you have a different way that you want parents to contact you, you can change this. If you want to give them your voicemail number, that sort of thing, you can do that. All right, now in this box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the text. And so I still have the box here and I'm going to go over to my Zoom link. Now, I don't want to just copy the invite link. I want to be able to provide parents with phone numbers to contact and to call into a Zoom. Our parents might be able to access Canvas and they have the bandwidth to access Canvas, but they might not have the bandwidth to actually join a Zoom meeting on their computer. So we want to provide them the option to call in if they have to. So over on the right hand side of my meeting, it has the copy invitation. I'm going to click on that and then the blue box that says copy meeting invitation. So now it's copied to my clipboard. If I go back over to Canvas, I can put my cursor right here in this box and I'm going to press Control V on a PC or on a Chromebook or Command V on a Mac. I have a couple extra spaces. I'm just going to delete that because that bugs me. Um, then I'm going to scroll up. Now you can see here this Zoom meeting link is not hyperlinked. We want to make it easy for parents so that they can just easily click on it. So I'm going to highlight it, copy it, so Control C or Command C on a Mac, click on the link to URL, and then Control V or Command V to paste. Then I'm going to insert the link. Now you can see it's changed colors, and I'm going to scroll down. Everything looks good. I changed everything in blue, so we're good to go. I'm going to scroll down a little bit farther. And here I am going to choose the button that says delay posting. I'm going to click that and I am going to delay posting this announcement until the night before back to school night. So the 14th and I want it at 8 o'clock p.m. And I'm going to press done. And what this is going to do is it's going to prevent this message from posting in Canvas until this time. And the reason we want to do that is if you want to get this all done in advance, you are totally welcome to. But what happens is as you add more announcements to your Canvas page, this announcement for back to school night might get buried. So we want it to be visible first thing Tuesday morning for students to fill out the their schedule for their parents. And we want this to be visible to parents on the Canvas page. So we're going to delay posting until the 14th at 8 p.m. And then you're going to press save down at the bottom of your screen. Now I can view my announcement again. I can still go in and edit. What I recommend that you do is test out this link just to make sure it works. So if I click on this hyperlink, it's going to launch meeting and it looks like everything's working. It's going to open once I open Zoom. You can log into Zoom if you want. I'm not going to do that right now. You just want to make sure that you don't get like an error message or that it's an invalid meeting ID. So I'm going to go back into Canvas. I can see all the phone numbers, etc. And um, down at the bottom, it says in really small text that this 
The content of this announcement will not be visible to users until September 14th at 8 p.m. So when I go to my home page, you will see that the announcement is no longer visible. And again, that's because it's not going to be available until the 14th. Canvas is set where you only see three, three announcements on your page. So we don't want to post this early and have it be buried and not showing on your home page. So make sure once you post it and you have it posted on the 14th at 8 p.m. that you don't go creating three other announcements for your students. Make sure that it is visible on your recent announcements on your home page for parents on Tuesday.